Welcome back to our STEAM class. So in this exercise 1.2, we'll be doing some simple Arduino coding. So now, again, it's time to create a new circuit. So again, on the new circuit, you go to the top left corner and enter exercise 1.2 and then press enter. Okay, remember to do that so that your file name will be exercise 1.2 so that it will be easier to find. Now, since we will be doing Arduino, so it's time to key in UNO Uno on the search bar and then bring in Arduino Uno R3. So today we'll focus on using this bot to do some basic function. So this basic function that we'll be doing will involve again light bulb. The key in bulb, drag in your light bulb. Now, to use the coding function, remember that we have to use those 0 to 13 and A0 to A5. If you look clearly, over here, the 0 to 13, it says something that have digital, and then PWM with a symbol over here. This means that 0 to 13 are all digital, and then the one with symbol can do PWM. Okay? And then A0 to A5 are analog. So we're gonna do digital. You will see the words digital again later. Okay, so digital means that you can only turn it on or off. So you either have on or off. It couldn't do any other number. So for so it can be very easily used to turn this light bulb on and off. So the very first thing I want you to do is that you look for the number over here, 0 to 13. Okay, if you feel that it's very hard to read it sideways, you can actually rotate it. Okay, so that the number are upright. So for this exercise, we look for number 5. Okay, if you put over here, it will say D5. You click on it, and now connect to the light bulb. Like what we say in previous exercise, light bulb doesn't have any polar which means the positive and negative are fine which on whichever way you connect it and again from last exercise we say that let's say if number five is provide electric current into the light bulb we need a way for it to go back okay so for the current to go back we use another terminal connect it to the ground that we used last um, in last exercise now this is complete. This is a complete basic circuit that connect the light bulb to number 5 and then back to ground. The next thing you need to do is to do the coding part. So you need to go to the top right corner and click on the code that we have seen last week. You need to delete the built-in code first. So you click on it, drag it around and bring it to the rubbish bin on the lower right corner. Now, to turn pin 5 on, you, over here, if you look around, you have a lot of different functions similar to your M block. Over here, there's something called set pin 0 to hide. This is the one that we need to use. So you drag this one and then put it on the workstation over here. It's actually the coding station over here. Then you click on this arrow and choose number 5 that you have connected over here. So these two numbers have to match. That means if you connect it to other number, you have to change the number to this one as well. Now if you go to the top right corner and press start simulation, you will see that it light up. Okay, this height over here means that turn it on. Okay, if you press stop simulation now, change it to low, you press start simulation again, it won't be lightening up because low means turn it off. So what else can we do? Once you press stop simulation, now you come back to the code block over here. Okay, you look for the control beside output. So it's just right over here. Okay, click on it. And then there's something called wait one second, similar to what you have in M block. You drag this wait one second over here. Okay change this to hide again right click on this set pin press duplicate 
you'll see that it gives you another set of set pin and weight. You now stick it at the bottom, uh, click, so that it snap to it, so that you have a connection of 1, 2, 3, 4 block that says set pin 5 to height, wait 1 second, change this one to set pin 5 to low. Alright, and then wait 1 second. Now if you press start simulation, you will notice that now the light bulb light up for 1 second, stop. Um, it's go off for one second, then on again one second, off one second, on one second, off one second. So basically, we are using this code similar to mBlock to program our Arduino Uno to control the light bulb. So this is a very simple demonstration on the capability of Arduino Uno in terms of controlling circuits. That's for exercise 1.2. So today conclusion, we can use Tinkercad to program Arduino Uno using block like mBlock. We can use digital section of the Arduino Uno to turn on or off anything, basically acting as power source. And then we can control this digital section using programming. That's all for today. Thank you and see you on next exercise.